I know you all late on rapper time. Hey, man, like a, it's a Friday, number one, and I'm a Christian. Okay. So, I, you know, everything is slow today. Take your time. All right. <laughs> You're that man. So what would Jesus do? He'd have been on time. Yeah, man, Jesus ain't never on time, man. <laughs> Jesus is like, yo, my Not time. A, what? <laughs> Not on time. What so up? what's going on with you, man? You look like you're in, uh, I've seen the pictures, you look like you're in fighting shape. Yeah, you know what? I'm in fighting shape, but we ain't gonna do. We ain't gonna have no fights, man. Mm. We just gonna chill. We are gonna work out. I'm actually uh, coming uh, from getting, you know, a Thai massage, man. I, Cause I, I went hard on the Kenya today. Right. Had about sixty people out there. So after that, I got a little massage spot. I'd like to stop by. Now break yeah, that see down. That, by everybody. the way, Marcel, see that's disrespectful. It's not like you could have said like, yeah, I was in a meeting with so and so, and nothing like it ran long. It's just like, nah. Instead of showing up on time, I got a massage. Yeah, I told, I told her not to do my feet as long as she did, you know. But mm. she liked to take a little extra time. Reflexology. You know? yeah, huh? Flexology. You know nah, about yeah, that, yeah. Max. You don't know about right. that because you ain't athletic. But, uh, <laughs> gang, break it down because you said you were on a canyon. I know what you're talking about, yeah. but the listeners don't know. What's this? Yeah, so, uh, you know, uh, by myself and my younger brother and a few of my friends, I created this program called 60 Days of Fitness um, where, you know, 60 days is the target. Um, and so a lot of people, you know, what they do when they try to – when they tell themselves – or tell themselves they want to work out. They go straight to the gym, right? right? They start off on weights or get on a treadmill, and then before you know it, they're in there by themselves, and they didn't quit and went home, and then it's another month, or they wait until a, the next New Year's resolution to start. Mm -hmm. So what I did is said, I'm going to create this uh, fitness program where you give yourself 60 days at your own pace to target whatever it is that you want to target. So let's not focus on, um, you know, let's doing abs and the core and, and arms and legs all at the same time. Let's just focus 60 days on mm -hmm. abs if that's your focus. Focus. Or 60 days on arms, and the next 60 days, you know, we'll focus on abs or something like that. So, um, the beginning of uh, my program is to lose whatever body fat, get all that body fat, that unweight, right. you know, that water weight and that unwanted weight off your body, and then we'll start to build after that. So, if you do 60 days of, you know, just releasing all that body fat, then you start to see yourself trans, you know, transforming to people. The first thing people are gonna say is, "Hey, you look skinny," but that's huh. good. Right. And then after that, then you start targeting those other areas, and you can build them back up. You no. So you're creating a climate of positive peer pressure. How are you seeing everyone respond to this when you're out there in the canyon? Like how from day one to right now, what have you seen in the results from everyone? Man, I mean, and you know, uh, I got you know a lot of love for the you know obese people and the big people out there. I love you, you know, give you mm -hmm. a hug when I see you. Mm -hmm. But I got I've seen That's a lot. That's to make of, you feel better, Marcel. It's about shut up. Late. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> hey yo, but I've seen a lot of people come out there, man, and and really just not have any motivation or any self esteem, not believe in themselves at all. And that's when I push myself to the back of the, you know, to the back of the group mm -hmm. and really help them up the canyon, teach them, you know, uh, different breathing techniques on how to control your breathing habits and, you know, so you're not so tired and, and how to take the steps that get you up the canyon, man. And a lot of people, are, you know, dropping weight, man, just like nothing out there. Now it's we, cool. We know the rapper lifestyle. I mean, it's a similar <clears throat> lifestyle. A lot of entertainers, celebrities. You talk about that water weight, but it's not just water. It could right. be some hydration. It could be some it other could be, stuff. You know, it could be Twinkies. It could right. be cereal. It could be, it could be some rock. It <laughs> yeah, could be it anything. Could that's it the could toughest, definitely man. be some Cereal rock. late yeah. at night, man. That is the toughest yeah. thing to lay off. Yeah. So how do you, are you changing your eating habits? How do you really go and penetrate beyond just running at the canyon? Here it is. Um, whenever you get involved in any type of fitness, whatever it is, whether it be 60 days of fitness, herbal life, 24 hour fitness, whatever, you know, all these supplements, um, all that's cool. If you you don't have a mental focus about changing your eating habits I mean dramatically overnight then you're just wasting your time because I swear it's about 75% diet and 25% workout all right enough of this food talk because we yeah, know the Lakers, Lakers. let's the, talk some yeah, Lakers. The Lakers they uh, eat right but Lakers they eat right but they don't know how to play right so yeah. what's up with the Lakers uh, it, you know simply it's it's this to me um I just think that the team we got a lot of great players Steve Nash is you know I is great Hall of Fame guy. I think he's still great right now. What you mean, Steve Nash? I mean, I feel like hmm? I don't. Hmm? I don't judge you by your age. I feel like if you picked up, you know, what I'm saying, if you got on the field right now. I would say Marcellus is great. Yeah, you well, know, it's, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. you'd be lying. You'd be lying yeah, twice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, two lies you told. Hey, but check it out, man. I felt like Michael Jordan was still Michael Jordan. He was great when he played for the Wizards. Didn't matter. It was still oh, Mike to me. That's so, three lies. Steve, oh, so come crazy. on, man. Hey, it's not that, Marcel. He it's asked crazy. my opinion. Damn, damn, hey, he lying. Steve Nash that. is Steve Nash. Paul right, Gasol right. is Paul Gasol. Dwight Howard is incredible. Yeah. Um, you know, and Kobe is, you know, Kobe. I just feel like sometimes the jail, like people don't jail together, man, no matter what you do, you know? I agree with that. It's like that. the old new edition. <laughs> you know? You got to get Bobby out of there. Let him do him. <laughs>
<laughs> well, 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 what's the fix of this chemistry issue you see? Yeah, from Kobe wants to go solo is the problem. Oh, <laughs> Kobe, no. Kobe, 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 Kobe. Yeah. The fix, man, I think the fix is to uh, – hmm. It, it hurts to say it, you know, what I love it, because I love having him here, man, and he's a good friend of mine, man, but Dwight might have to go, you know, find him a different fit, man. Really? I feel like in um, I feel like in Orlando, you know, the ball was coming straight to him. I think it's three, four passes before Dwight, you know, see us sometimes on offense, and then he's left to clean up, you know, and if you remember anything Ooh. about Cedric Sabalos, that's that role. Max, what do you feel about that? I mean, what's the future of the Lakers? Max, what you got to say to that? The future of the Lakers, if you ship him out of town, what no, you going to do? I th- I, the, the reason I think they got to hold on to him is – you need like the way it works in the NBA now is one or two superstars get together and then there's a gravitational pull. They attract other players, sometimes right. for less money. So you need Dwight because Kobe and Powell got one more year. Powell's going to get traded. Kobe will still be here. Then he comes off the books. And if the Lakers don't have Dwight, what do they have? They right. got to keep some kind of anchor. Yeah. You're going to the Staples Center in 2014 if there's no Kobe, no Powell, and no Dwight? Come on now. It's rough. Yeah. I mean, I, I happen to like the, you know, the little Corona mix that they do, you know, on the floor. So I will probably still go. <laughs> <laughs> they make good yeah, drinks at the Stable Center. You watching the fight? You watching Real the fight talk. this weekend? Alvarado and Rios rematch? You know I am. Yeah, well, who do you like? Alvarado. Ooh, Alvarado to, to to turn it around this fight. Yeah, huh? I like Alvarado. He had him last fight, yeah, and he then did. he got a little he fell off. Man. Yeah, he got a little slippy there. I got Alvarado court. though. Yeah, you see, bet. ten dollars. You see, you see uh, Bradley and uh, Provodnikov? Oh uh, no. Oh, oh I see that one. Ho, ho, ho. Got to catch that on the re-air and, uh, on HBO. Hold 